Still on crutches. I guess I should have titled or made a thumbnail for my last video that said nine weeks on crutches instead of six weeks on crutches because it's week seven and I'm still using them. And uh, it's been a bit of a challenge. <laughs> As you can see, I had to make some repairs because of the amount that I've been using these. And what my doctor wants me to do is put 25% of my weight on this leg uh, this week, 50% next week, 75% the week after that, and then done with them after that. So far it's been pretty good this week. And what I'll do in the morning is I will, it's nighttime right now, but I'll bring out a scale like so, and I'll get used to seeing what it feels like to stand. So I'll wait for that to read about 40, 45 pounds. Thankfully for this whole process, I have managed to not get fat. So 40, 45 uh, pounds is a quarter of my weight. And then I will uh, take some steps. So as you can see, I'm, I'm still putting a lot of weight on the crutches, obviously. Every single time I step with my left foot. And I'm just looking for that 40 to 45 pound mark like that. I also managed to make it to the pool three times this week and walked around at uh, chest deep. Uh, if you're neck deep, you're about 10%. Chest deep is about 25%, down to the waist is 50%. So I'll be doing that this week, hopefully. And tomorrow I am gonna go see Ian and he's gonna take a look at it. And uh, hopefully swelling has stayed the same and uh, we're good to move forward. Guess who got new swimming shorts? Hey, how does this? crutch walking gate look. Does it look like I'm squeezing my butt? Because I definitely am squeezing my butt. Well, I saw Ian yesterday and everything looks good. So we're moving ahead now to week eight and I'm doing 50% weight bearing on this leg, which doesn't mean I can do a lot of different exercises. It's still pretty boring in here, but I'm gonna take you through what I'm doing anyway. Okay, so I'm still using this mini band here to do uh, inversion and eversion with my ankle. And then I use the bigger band to do some dorsiflexion, but I also get to do some plantar flexion with this guy now. So I'll go this way. And then over here. Straight leg lift. And This one right here. Doing some adduction. And then, nope, had it right the first time. Okay. And then this way, adduction. To make all of that a little bit less boring and also to try to get a little bit of cardiovascular work in, I will do those physio exercises in between sets of other things. So over here, I was doing dips with uh, this chain and then some rows over there. So I'll do a set of rows, get maybe a couple of those physio exercises done, do a set of the dips, go do the other half of the exercises and then back to rows again. Oh yeah, I can also do a little bit of resistance on the bike now. So yeah, so, yeah before I was just riding this thing and just kind of pedaling around with my right leg, but now I can do a little bit of resistance and it actually feels like I'm doing something. I was just getting into the car and I must have put a little bit extra too weight, much weight on my foot because my knee just gave me a little bit of a stab. And it occurred to me that you might be watching this thinking, hey, this guy is uh, going through a pretty smooth recovery here, absolutely no problems, but it's not the case. So there is little bits of discomfort uh, around the affected area of my knee and that's just an example of maybe uh, momentarily putting a little bit too much weight on my leg too soon but it's okay i'm a hot mess from that workout i just did so i'm gonna jump in the pool
The pool always feels really good, not just because it's a hot day and I get to cool off, but also it's the only place where I can move around without my crutches right now. Also the compression on the knee feels really nice and really it's something that I didn't expect to get so much out of when it came to recovering from this injury. So today I went to uh, belly button and hip deep for the first time, didn't have any pain or any issues with that. Uh, I also tried to do a little bit of single leg balancing, but that didn't go so well. It was actually really difficult to do, but I didn't have any pain from it, so that's the most important thing. So that's it for my training today. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you get to do some training today so that you too can stay chiseled.